Welcome to MathSpark. In this video, we're going to talk about registering with my math test. And let me begin by welcoming you to the South Dakota School of Mines and Technology. You are now a hard rocker, and you join an elite and select body of future scientists, engineers, and mathematicians. Now, what's the point of MathSpark? Why are we doing this for you? Well, here's the story behind the MathSpark program. Almost all incoming South Dakota School of Mines and Technology students will take a mathematics course during their first semester at the School of Mines. However, approximately 40% of those students, that's two students for every five freshmen, will not pass that first math class. What does that mean? Well, in financial terms, that's a cost of anywhere between $800 to $1,100 of money that's wasted in that first semester by not getting that first math credit. Beyond that, it adds a semester, maybe even an extra year, to your program timeline. So we don't want you to be a part of that first 40%. We want you to succeed early and often. In order to do that, we have to address the reasons why students have a hard time at the beginning. There are two main reasons that students face difficulties in their first college math class. The first is insufficient math preparation. Students are very often unprepared either for the speed at which college math classes happen or are perhaps missing parts of their math training from the school that they went to during high school or grade school. Beyond that, students often have insufficient study skills. Since you were accepted to the School of Mines, I know that you've already done well in high school, but a lot of you may have been able to do well without ever having to study or crack open a textbook. And while it didn't hurt you in high school, that lack of study skills can be fatal in college. So MathSpark is designed to address these two insufficiencies. Later videos will talk about the study skills, but these first few videos are going to focus on that first part, math preparation. How we're going to go and help you get prepared for your math classes is through a program called My Math Test, which will allow you to take diagnostic tests to see whether or not you know prerequisite materials, and if you are weak in a certain area, allow you to practice and quiz yourself to gain mastery before you ever set foot in your first math class on campus. However, before we can get registered with My Math Test and begin, we're going to need two things from an email that was sent to you earlier on this summer. So in your email program, you should have a letter which was sent to you by the admissions office at the South Dakota School of Mines and Technology. This letter, signed by Math and Computer Science Department Chair Kyle Riley, has information about this summer mathematics program. What we're going to need is the information at the very, very bottom of the letter. It includes an access code and then the program IDs for four standard fall semester freshman math courses. The access code, which consists of six random words, is going to be your key that grants you access to the My Math Test suite of programs. The program IDs will give you access to the diagnostic and study materials for specific classes. Now as a student, you can only choose one of these program IDs. The math department recommends that you choose the program ID for the math course into which you would like to enroll in fall semester. Most students plan on enrolling in Calculus 1 in fall, and so I'm going to isolate that program ID. So take the access code and the program ID copy those things down on a piece of paper and we'll be ready to register. So grab your laptop and let's go and get ourselves registered with my math test. So I've logged into my favorite web browser and let's go to mymathtest.com. When the website opens we'd like to go and register so we'll select register now as a student. Now it says we're going to need an email, a program ID, and an access code, which we just talked about. So let's go over and register. The next screen is going to ask whether or not you have an access code, which we know we do. So let's select yes and go to the next screen. This will be the license and policy agreement, and you are more than welcome to read through it, and you should always do such a thing. But once you've gone through and read it, let's accept the policy and get going. The next screen is going to ask whether or not you have a Pearson account already. For example, if you've used My Math Lab in the past. Right now, I'm going to assume that you don't. If you do, you can select yes. But let's select no. We're going to need to create a login name and a password. 
So once we're done with that, we can now enter our access code from the email. And then we're ready to go to the next step. Next, we can set up our account information. So we've got a name, an email address, a country, and a zip code, which for the School of Mines is 57701. And then we can find the South Dakota School of Mines and Technology. And then, of course, a security question, which is up, for you, up to you to determine. And then once that information is entered, you can go to the next screen. And so now you've successfully registered for my math test. At this point, it would be a good idea to go over and print this page so that you have a hard copy for your records. And once you've done that, let's go back to my math test and log in. So now we've officially signed in with the Pearson program. We're going to have to go through a similar process to get signed up for our class. So let's go over to sign in. Put in the username and the password that we had before. And sign in. And then we're going to enter my math test to get ourselves included into a program. Now when we click this program, a second window will pop up. And we'll ask for our program ID. So again, let's go back to our email and pull that program ID out. If you've successfully entered the program ID, then the class you're trying to enroll into should appear below. If you don't see, say, Calculus 1 or Trig or Calc 2 or College Algebra after you've entered the number, it means you've entered one of the digits wrong. Just go back and re-enter it. Once you see the class that you would like, we'll go down to Enroll. And there you are. You're successfully enrolled in my math test for whatever course you'd like to work with. So now that we've registered with my math test and we've enrolled in our class, what's the next thing we should do? Well, it should be to take a diagnostic test to get an idea of where we sit in that class. And in the next video, we'll talk about how to take that diagnostic test and how to interpret those results.